The theme with you today is mindfulness of energy. <clears throat> I have in mind the energy which we use in our household. And firstly, I would like to express appreciation for various friends <clears throat> who kindly suggested a number of themes for the large worldwide community of people who at the time of speaking are currently obliged to stay at home very much round the clock with little minimal or no departure from the home for some of course that is the situation already usually due to health circumstances. <clears throat> and one of the considerations is how we use the energy at home. In the street where I live, there are around 56 houses. A note was put through the doors. How about some meetings together in different homes over some weeks, months? And we do talk about how we use our energy. Some people in the street are genuinely mindful. And i just like to mention a few items here. It might give you some inspiration <clears throat> as well, as well as it gave to myself. Simple things. One is, person turns the tap on, bit of water on the toothbrush, puts a toothpaste on the toothbrush and by that time the tap has been turned off. There is no a drop of wasted running water. Person brushes their teeth, comes the moment, turn the tap on, takes some water, puts it in the mouth, rinses the mouth, spits it out, a bit more water, second time, finished. Person takes a shower, three minutes. In the shower, sometimes using one of those sand hourglasses, I have one, and to finish a complete shower, including hair washing time in three minutes or five minutes. A certain quiet discipline. Some people would rather wear warmer clothing than just turn the central heating up and consume more energy that way. Another person or family, they turn the light out when they leave the room. So the room doesn't have a light burning with nobody in it. Another person said she never had uses standby at all for any equipment whatsoever overnight. Uh, Another person, right, living in a hot climate, doesn't use air conditioning and feels that spending money on air conditioning, more exploitation of fossil fuels, and what can air conditioning do? It can offer a slight change in the bodily sensation, in the bodily feeling. That's all it can do. So, some quiet disciplines. It might take a little bit of getting used to. One of the values of this is it helps to conserve money, that's for sure. One of the values of this, it helps, it contributes to a sustainable world. And we should not think, of course, that by doing this, we're going to change the world. We also have to bear in mind the outer. Fossil fuel companies need to be challenged. The coal mining companies need to be challenged. The refrigeration companies and the air conditioning companies need to be challenged. The impact of the exploitation of resources, land, water and air, the pollution needs to be challenged. The treatment of uh, animals. What is going on in the laboratories? Why are these viruses and strains of them keep repeating. 
So we're not just saying, oh, I'll just change my life in my home, that's enough. It's a contribution. It's a reminder <clears throat> to walk the talk. And it's also a consideration. So I asked some of the people in our small group meetings, what was your motivation? And it varied, but the outcome was the same. For some, living on a tight budget, perhaps the elderly pensioner, pensioners, the low income, single mum, the person dependent on social services, on sick support, support from the government for sickness or whatever, to save money. Another person, their consideration was just to conserve energy, just to use less, to be more moderate, to remember to turn the heating down, the, the radiators off, only have heating in the place where one is actually, room or rooms where one is actually uh, living. Doing everything possible to conserve energy and make things last. Some, quite often parents, but non-parents as well, who have one eye, one mindful eye on the future. What about the generation of the babies and the children? What are we leaving for them? What about when they become adults? and the grandchildren and other kids of the next generation or the generation after that. The destruction of the world, the exploitation and abuse of our vulnerable resources is having such an impact and we're using up our capital of the earth as if it was an infinite supply, and it's finite, uh, in a system of infinite growth. So let's really make a learning process of our time at home, finding ways to save money, conserve energy, live more mindfully and carefully, really quite commitment to that, that could have a real change on our social thinking, our political thinking, our financial thinking, our global thinking. And we come out of this period with, resume, with a renewed sense of what's really, really important. And share that with others. So do please apply energy conservation method, methods, look at everything which you use, see what's recyclable, what you can make last, what you can offer on Freebay, what you can offer on eBay, reduce that, generate more space in your home as well, and be part of a genuinely progressive way forward. So mindfulness of energy, conservation of energy, being clear about what is recyclable, being clear about what you can pass on, learning and understanding a lot through that, and seeing if you can liberate your voice in the daily life when there's the opportunity to share and speak with others so that we're not going back to how it was before because the earth can't last that way. So this could be a real turning point and a rather enforced situation of being at home maximum amount of time could be the break from the old that we need. It has potential. It is tragic, the suffering. It is tragic, the loss of life. The huge burden there. And there's the other aspect to it of, the, of it as well. Make full use of your time at home. Conserve the energy. See what you can do. Keep a note. 
you may be the great inspiration for other people out of all of this. Thank you for listening. Stay mindful. Be a conscious human being. Explore that which is significant for the present and for the future generations. Thank you.